friends today we are going to see a video for simulation of stepper motor so as usual to begin with we will first configure the drivers then we'll open the software where the program is loaded and then followed by emulator so let me first configure the drivers to do the same i'll click on rs links so here it is at the bottom in the taskbar i have opened it i'll click on communications and i'll click on configure drivers and then i will search for slc 500 that is the driver the moment whenever you're doing it for the first time it won't appear over here until you configure the moment you configure then your driver will appear over here and it will show running because i have already configured it so it is showing running but in case if you're doing it for the first time you'll always have to do this process that's the reason i'm showing this so configure uh, the station number this is the number for your computer i'll click on okay and then i'll click on close now after doing that i will click on rs logics micro that is the place where the ladder diagram is loaded so i'll expand it then i'll go to file and i'll open the drive where the stepper motor program is loaded so here i go on the drive then i'll go to specific folder i have named the folder as rs logics 500 and open here are all the programs that i've initially done so i'll have to browse to the stepper motor program so here it is and then i'll click on open so the program has opened up now what have i done is i have taken all the four windings one after the other now the data bit given to this uh, windings for the motor to move is eight four two one pattern so this will go on and on the pattern one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one this will go on and on in a continuous loop and that's the program so i've used four timers to generate four delays one after the other the same stepper motor function can be used using uh, can be executed using sequencer so that is going to be your uh, assignment question so you'll be doing assignment uh, wherein you will run the stepper motor using sequencer instruction okay so uh, to begin the simulation now let me quickly uh, click on the emulator so here it is after clicking on emulator you always get an error message which you need to ignore and click on ok over here again you'll have to browse and open the stepper motor program so here it goes here is the stepper motor i'll click on okay before i do that let me first verify the ladder diagram so the ladder diagram is verified now i'll click on file and i'll click on save which clearly means that whenever you want to use the program always verify the ladder diagram first and click on save because when you go on emulator now you will be opening the one which you have recently verified and saved so file open and over here step a motor if you see the time it shows the date and time so i'll click on here i'll click on open and over here i'll have to punch in the station number so this is going to be one now this station number is for your plc we don't have a physical plc right now but this is the station number for virtual plc so then i'll click on ok after clicking on ok now i'll click on run once i click on run now i'll go back to my ladder diagram by clicking here so this is the ladder diagram i'll put this in online mode so now this rotating indicates that we are in online mode this is green and the rails left rail and right rail they appear to be green okay and even the normally closed contacts are green which indicates that we are in run mode now i'll turn on the start switch the moment i do that first this winding will turn on of the stepper motor then after a fixed delay of two seconds it will switch to second winding third winding fourth winding so there are four timers and that's all about the program so here we go right click and click on toggle and there you go eight four 
2 1 and then it goes again 8 4 2 1 well friends that's it about uh, working of stepper motor there are different methods of triggering a stepper motor it could be half stepping it could be uh, full stepping it it could be combinational stepping so it is up to you which one you use the motive here is as per the application you can decide whether you want a step angle of 1.8 degree or you want it for 0 0.9 uh, degree it is up to the individual but this is generally how you use stepper motor the only difference is going to be the bit pattern that you care here in this case we are energizing only one bit at a time in full stepping you'll have to energize two bits at a time right so there you go thank you for watching i will put this in first i'll have to stop this i'll click on toggle bit then i'll go on emulator i'll click on halt then i'll close this from here file and close and then I'll close this and now it is asking me to go offline so I'll click on go offline and there we go yes so that's it friends that's about stepper motor